Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have oil storage, hippodrome, and German power plants. <laughs> Right, again, as always, disclaimer, I probably shouldn't even saying this, nobody's paying me for this, this is something that caught my eye. There is 45 new mods in the last 7 days, this is only 10 slash 11, there's one invisible one, I cannot access it for some reason, but I'm gonna leave it the link in the description as well, and I will address it in this episode. So if you want to support the channel or modders, go and check it out, there's a lot of new uh, mods and if you want to support the channel I have a description of the video right let's get started first but not the least big car dealer by robs 074 big car dealer loosely based on a real building in London Poland employs 40 workers and has enough space for 32 cars right so this is how the building looks it's classic classic mr. robs he's regular on this uh, this series of course I installed all the mods uh, with uh, skins as well so you can change the skins as you wish uh, of course you can see that all of them are changing colors and designs so you can fit your city as much as you want it's really really beautiful building of course it's bigger than the vanilla one we're gonna populate it with cars but we're gonna first compare it to vanilla building right on the right hand side here we're gonna have vanilla car dealership and on the left hand side we're gonna go and find the mr robs's mod so that would be uh, usually I go and check out all the mods and just hold go all the way in the back because this is how many mods I have Right we have car dealer on the left hand side. We have car dealer on the right hand side So uh, the one on the right hand side you can see here it does require 319 work days to finish uh, 6.1 tons of steel and a little bit of electrical components. What about Mr. Robs this one? No electrical components on this one, but as you can see that it's enormous amounts of bricks and steel and it's way 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 more expensive than the vanilla one This is 53,000 where vanilla is 7,000 So if you want to build this mod if you want to make this mod you're gonna have to pay dearly for this one moving on AIG oil storage pack by AI games uh, oil storage pack capacity 5000 and 10,000 uh, this is absolutely beautiful mod and this is something that I'm going to be using I if you have any oil based industry you should have plenty plenty of these mods but this mod uh, it's definitely something really beautiful and something that you're going to see in my let's plays uh, they're not separated storage the 10,000 one even though it has two storages you can only store one item in both of those there are mods that you can store two different uh, things in the same building but uh, this one is not the, the same way you can see that you can store 10,000 in this one and 5,000 the smaller one but how does it compare price wise with vanilla one so in our oil section over here I will just place it right next to this one if I find any flat room here we go so on the right hand side we're gonna have this on the left hand side we're gonna have this big oil storage so uh, this is this one is uh, I believe 1,000 tons or 1000 liters we can just double check this one this is 1500 sorry 1500 so that's three times smaller than the smaller of two so let's see price wise how do they compare uh, on the left hand side we're gonna go for the smaller one it does require 43 tons of steel which is four times more than vanilla it does require four times more four times more everything so it's four times more expensive than vanilla one and uh, stores three times more uh, storage more more stuff uh, how do they compare to each other I believe they're not really just double because they shouldn't be just double uh, you can see that they are the, the bigger one is a little bit more expensive so let's say 50% more expensive than than the small one so you will be saving some money if you want to go for a big one straight away but anyway link in the description of the video oil heating plant by Novu use oil to heat a city mo uh, of a moderate size employs 50 workers to produce 150 megajoules of heat now this is uh, this is something that we were missing here you can see have a couple of different elements probably some of them are from vanilla game game you have a storage here and then you have this heat exchanger which combined here looks like a, it's all set up to look like a heating plant by the way this is my favorite mod this mod monday because we are missing severely missing oil heating and this is something that where i come from is common oil rather than coal uh, and definitely my favorite mod this mod monday of course it has a lot of connections so you can you can connect a lot of oil storage to it uh, so fear not it has a lot of options right how does it compare to vanilla one 
Okay, so we have two options here. I will be uh, I will be comparing both of them, but the problem is the bigger one, uh, bigger heating plant is a little bit. The bigger heating plant has uh, a little bit more heating, the coal one, and it's a little bit bigger than this, so I would expect that it's a little bit more expensive. I will compare it to a smaller one as well. So if we go for vanilla one, compare it to the big one first. So let's go big one on the right hand side, big heating plant. Um, does require 2000 workdays. It's uh, actually just a little bit more expensive. Uh, well, they, it requires a little bit more workdays to be finished, but it does have less steel, almost 50% less. Uh, more bricks though, so you have... it's... it's... Uh it's an interesting building. 50,000 to finish, while this one is 62. So vanilla one is a little bit more expensive in general. It does require more steel and the mechanical components, but price-wise, I think they are quite comparable. Knowing Mr. Novo, this is a really, really nice mod. And what about the smaller one? Smaller one over here, you can see that it's... Uh, 20 tons of steel 45 compared to this one so it's more than twice the amount of the smaller one but does create it does create almost four times as much heat two and a half times more heat so something definitely i'm going to be using in my let's plays vdnh hole by abelian hike 852 VDNH exhibition of achievements of national economy expo hall based on real building in Yerevan Armenia employs 18 workers you have also description in Cyrillic if you want to go and read it so what is it it's a tourist building uh, we're gonna compare it to tourist buildings as well it does require heating it does have 18 workers I'm not really sure what the capacity of visitors are but you start with a three star rating so let's compare to a vanilla building uh, let's go for Gallery of Art. Looks like it's the similar size. We can go for for a museum over here. So let's go for the National Uprising Museum on the right hand side. Let's compare the price. They look similar in size, those two buildings. So if we go to our mod section all the way in the back and we have the VDNH exhibition. It does require 41 tons of steel, which is a little bit less than the National Uprising Museum. Uh, it does require 20, a little bit less uh, asphalt, and it, all in all, it should be a little bit cheaper building. It's a less complex, it's a just dome building, so I think it's quite realistic in price, and I will be using it in my let's plays. Pack Building Central Hippodrome MSK by Raytheon. Pack Building Central Hippodrome. Greetings, yada yada yada. This is Moscow Hippodrome. Uh, this is actually star of this episode. It's not my favorite because it's enormous. Uh, uh, I, I still need to understand how this works. But this is a pack of Hippodrome buildings. Now, if you go to the link of description of the video to link to this mod, you will be surprised. This is the next level stuff. This is a set of buildings. The similar to what you can do in skylines with those uh, DLCs and stuff you can create the whole hippodrome with the roads in between parking lots it has a lot of a lot of buildings um, this is like a tourist site I think your own people can use it as well and every single uh, building has its own capacity and uh, viewership and all that stuff when you build a small park uh, hippodrome park you will have a lot of buildings that can be used around with for your people of course it comes with a parking spaces you can um, build as many as you want of these they do have a lot of space though so uh how does it compare to vanilla there's nothing like this in vanilla do you have tourist buildings we will check out the price of those of these uh, i will show you what the actual price is we can we can check the materials as well so the biggest building here is central hippodrome that's the one over here you can see it uh right here it does require steel a little bit of steel a lot of concrete uh, bricks gravel and a whole bunch of other stuff you have smaller buildings here that are a little bit more expensive but they are actually proper buildings and the central building uh, is and the central building uh, would be this one over here it requires 177 tons of steel to finish so this is quite quite expensive 500 tons of bricks now we can compare this price wise this is 200 only this building that we're trying to build now is 237,000 uh, 40,000 for hippodrome itself so this is something that's gonna set you back a bit small small uh, 
sheds over here and the horse enclosures and stuff Th those are a little bit cheaper but this is quite quite reasonably well <laughs> a lot of ex a lot of expenses here now bear in mind that some of the buildings are they don't have collisions so you can place them wherever you want in this case for example parking uh, and then you might have a little bit of wiggly parking i suggest with these buildings that you level the ground before placing them i am big fan of uh, collisionless buildings and uh, i flatten the ground myself Anyway, if you want more details, check out the link in the description of the video. Right, let's me let's test my Cyrillic again. This is NII Spitz Auto Prom Car Factory. Uh, this mod was made by Legend Gamer, of course, in his own style, unique style, which is really, really quite realistic. And this is what I love about it. It looks plain, it looks simple, but it's actually not. It's a big, big building, quite realistic in size. And, uh, well, one of my favorites, definitely. So th this is a car factory. It employs, I'm going to read a little bit of a description here. You have Research Inst uh, uh, Institute uh, Spets Autoprom. Okay, I was close enough. Is a research and production enterprise that develops technologies for production of new cars designed their production technical basis the prototype building was the research institute of automotive industry in moscow now the uh, negatinsky business center works like a car factory when playing role play this is a plant it's recommended to produce rare and one of one kind cars and trucks this is something you're gonna see in my let's plays potentially now in alaska that we're doing uh, but let's compare the price of this enormous building to vanilla one right so here on the top in the, in the screen on the right hand side uh, we will compare the vanilla building and if we go to our mod section it would be one of the last mods i have and that would be this one it's NII Spets Auto Prom, and uh, you can see here yeah, the vanilla one requires 10,000 work days to be finished. This one requires 50,000, 48,549. It does require 100. Uh, 1,105 tons of concrete, 2,000 tons of steel. This is way, way, way more expensive than vanilla one. So if you want to build a building like this, this is going to set you back pretty penny. So let's see how much it actually costs money-wise. This is something interesting. 1.6 million in 1960, the beginning of the game. This is quite, quite expensive building. We have Sci-Fi Hotel by Vicom. You must be asking, what is this? Here's the answer. The building itself is inspired by Hungarian cartoon uh, Mezga family. Uh, okay, there's a real writing in Hungarian as well. I'm not gonna even try to read it. Where it exists in the distant future. Right, I think this looks like Jetsons or something like that as well. I think they lived in similar buildings. Now, this building acts like, like a hotel, as you can see it here. Sci fi hotel. You have all the stuff that hotel needs to have as well. So, this is something different. This is kind of like Space Needle version of hotel, but obviously it's a fictional building. I'm gonna try to compare it to vanilla one and see how it compares. Right, um, so this one has, let me see the capacity here, it has hotel staff 60. Uh, let's see how much we're gonna have here. We have 45, okay, it's a little bit more than the biggest hotel we have in the vanilla. So let's see here, on the right hand side we have a hotel and on the left hand side we're gonna go and check out the, the Space Needle Sci-Fi Hotel. So on the left hand side you can see that it requires 60 tons of gravel it does require 2450 work days to finish which is twice as much as the vanilla building it does require way moist more steel almost 200 tons of steel 60 tons of mechanical components 40 tons of electric this is expensive this is really expensive if you want to have this building it's gonna <laughs> cost you a lot it's actually 10 times more expensive than vanilla building but this is what happens when you have science fiction buildings in your city. Iodar power plant, 64 megawatts and 291 megawatts. Uh, Brown Kohle, Kraftwerk, Bauna, Zwei in game. Okay, uh, there's there's a description a little bit in German, a little bit uh, in something else. There's also um, original buildings when they were built and probably the commission there's a lot of a lot of information there's also Cyrillic version of this i believe this is a german one uh german power plant uh, i love these uh, uh cooling towers by the way they look amazing of course this is a bigger one this is a smaller one you can see that this one can produce 3000 850 megawatts of power they both use brown coal in this game we don't have brown coal and uh, black coal uh, we only have coal ore and processed coal or 
just coal. Uh, I'm really, really happy to see that we have these ones as well for usage in the game. Um, this might be the biggest power plant I ever saw. I'm gonna comp I'm gonna check out the nuclear uh, twin reactors or quadruple reactors that we have two twin reactors um, power plants but it could be the biggest producer of electricity for its small size this is quite interesting we will compare this to vanilla buildings and see production and consumption and all that good stuff and the smaller one of course i think it's comparable to the vanilla ones but let's see let's see what we have so if you go to energy related section of our uh, vanilla options GUI we have coal power plant you can see it here on the right hand side I'm going to use a little bit of this just to place it to compare it with this one it does require uh, it does produce much less electricity actually three times less electricity than the smaller power plant but uh, I would still like to compare to see if the price correlates to this one you can see a lot of electricity connections as well this is really nice and of course we have twin nuclear reactor uh, that has 9360 megawatts of power production um that would be the biggest vanilla one and this one has more this one has almost double that amount so this coal power plant over here it is bigger it definitely is big but uh, it does produce twice as much than this nuclear power plant i don't know if that's realistic or not i am not an expert in this uh, it might as well be but i would like still to compare it we're we gonna compare it to vanilla one here and price wise we can go just check the price how much it costs six hundred thousand uh six let's say seven hundred thousand uh, rubles to build this nuclear power plant while we need two hundred and fifty five thousand to build this one so 255 and nuclear is 670 if we go to our mod section and we try to find our power plants you can see both of them both of them here buna and uh Vokerode. Vokerode. Uh, Buna one is the smaller one. It's almost twice as expensive as vanilla building that, that you can see here. You see two, 257,000, while this building over here is 500,000 Buna. And then we have the bigger one. It's 1.4 million, which is uh, more than twice the amount of, uh, of nuclear power plant that we have in the game. I still wanted to um, compare it to the modded nuclear power plant that we have in the game that's probably that was the biggest power plant at least i knew of so we have large coal power plant this would be fondly called bell Bel that i call it my biggest power plant in europe a coal power plant in europe based in poland um but this one produces the same amount of energy similar amount of energy to this one so the biggest coal power plant we had before it's actually not the biggest anymore and also we have the huge nuclear reactors we're gonna compare it to as well right so the biggest uh, nuclear power plant we have here would be ignalina rbmk 1500 um, Inalina, I believe it's from Estonia, uh, Soviet-built uh, nuclear power plant, has 7,205 7, megawatts of power production, uh, while this one is uh, more than double the size, so we have these new ones, um, Vokerode uh, was, is the one that we're talking about, and it's more than twice, it's, it's, it's a lot, it produces a lot of electricity, first of all, I'm not really sure if it's realistic compared to other buildings in the game, um, on one side, on the other side, um, I don't think you need this much electricity, this, this much, you, depending on one uh, power plant that produces this much electricity, if something happens to it, the whole country goes black, I would rather go for two smaller ones, even these ones, but this here is something that you're definitely gonna see in my let's plays, this is absolutely beautiful power plant, but anyway, if you wanna know more about these mods, go and check out link in the description of the video and the second time today mr novu singer building built in 2000 1908 uh, the singer building was the tallest building in the world 205 meters 41 floors it has been scaled down to 30 percent to only 140 meters to make it more in line with other buildings housing uh, right, it comes in two, this is me talking, not reading now, it, has, it comes in two different models. One of the models have uh, has an icon of me there, or Oliki, that's Ulyanov, or, or Lenin. Uh, two of them actually have, one of them is residential building, uh, as you can see here on the right hand side, and the other one is hotel on the left hand side, so you can choose whichever you want to place uh, in your country. You can see here that they have a Lenin statue on different sides, and there's some kind of... Uh, um, English signs, <laughs> English letters here, uh, boss on the road overall, so obviously some kind of commercials 
on the buildings. And then you have cleaned version of the building without any insignia. Uh, both of them again in residential form and hotel as well. Okay, so how does it compare to vanilla hotel and residential areas? Let's check it. So we have a city hotel here. This is the bigger one that we already compared it to and we have prefab flats over here. So let's see how does it compare price wise and capacity wise. These flats are 189 people. Those are the bigger ones. Uh, we cannot really compare it because the buildings have 450 people living in them, but we can try to compare it um, price wise. So the building here on the left hand side is going to be the modded ones. If we go all the way in the end, we're going to have Singer Hotel building. That's 5,123 workdays to finish, which is oof, eight times more than vanilla building. It does require 200 tons of steel compared to seven tons for vanilla building. Uh, and of course, it has more of everything else except prefab panels because it's not being used in this building. So it's really, really beautiful version, really, really beautiful building and quite, quite expensive. Uh, if we see the price of these buildings, they're 178,000, while the vanilla one um, would be uh 15 000. so it's more than 10 times more expensive all in all but really really beautiful building i think it's unique you shouldn't be even comparing it to this uh hotel wise uh it's similar hotel is 24 000 to build and as you remember they, these are 178 000 uh, rubles to build so it's like eight times more expensive or so anyway this is definitely realistic price really beautiful building and i hope you guys are going to enjoy this one Vipernon and Kavanoki populated. This is the map, the map of the week. Uh, it's really, really beautiful map. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to say something straight away. Disclaimer, when I started this map, uh, it was I got notification that there's 261 buildings missing from the game. I have no idea. I don't see anything missing. I didn't notice any missing buildings, but uh, I'm going to assume that was just an error message or something uh, because everything here looks peachy, beautiful and nice. Uh, right, so this is a map of a uh, region formerly disputed by the Kingdom of uh, Astaria and the Federation of Kalkanov. Uh, I will not read the description of this. There's a long, long, prolonged uh, description. So I'm going to leave this to you guys to go and read. Uh, I will show you just how everything looks like here. Look at this. I didn't even notice this one. This is really really beautiful right so let's see how we how we're we doing here with the re, with the resources as you can see here map is um let's call it full of lakes because everything can be connected but with both lakes and roads of course you have several border crossings mostly with soviet countries of course you have nato one as well so if we go for coal you can see that it's patchy patchy you can't get really high percentage of coal it's it's just patchy iron as well so any mines you build that they're not going to be really highly productive oil wise it looks a little bit better but a lot of oil is offshore so you're going to have to make an effort there uranium again patchy not really dense quality uh, source of uranium uh, and similar situation with the bauxite so it's quite realistic and challenging start of the map and of course you don't have a lot of flatland to build on you do start with population as you can see here we have 13,000 people living in this country of course you have a couple of villages uh, that you can or in fields that you can start with if you wish to do so um, but most of it is going to probably be exploitation of the resources that you can find around here a lot of broken infrastructure that you're going to have to rebuild yourself there's a story to this map i'm going to leave for you guys to discover this but this is absolutely beautiful map uh, viper non usually makes really nice mods and models so definitely something that i'm going to be checking out maybe even playing in our let's plays but anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say that uh, I really enjoyed this. So only thing left to say is I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have a description of the video. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, happy Monday and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.